second row of the grid in final two. Reverse order grid for all these junior class riders in final two. That's why you can see Will Horn in the background there on the second row of the grid. But the likes of Knuckle, Walker, Gamera, Kabaki, Rinaldi, Kazmar. Of the grid here. We're just getting ready for the gate to drop. Five seconds for these junior riders on the Fourth turn one, the gate drops. Let's see who's able to get the whole shot down through. And it looks like it's Rinaldi. Good start there for the Italian. But he's going to come under pressure from what looks like Tim Apple with a great start from Apple from the second row of the grid. Really able to get down the inside there on that night. Good performance from Tim Apple already in this race. You can see further down the field, Cyprian all the way down at the back. Looks like he's down in 12, just beside Diego Herrera. They, of course, battled earlier in the race. One of the riders gone down. Looks like it was a Husqvarna rider. Keep an eye to see whether or not that was championship leader Will Hoare. Was Hoare able to get himself through cleanly? You can see Hoare on that number 80, all the way down in 12th spot. So plenty of work to do if he's going to be able to maintain his form of winning every race so far this season. Tim Apple, though, leading the way here. Front, three seconds out in front of Kamaki, the Bulgarian rider in second spot. Tim Apple, of course, the German rider, the home rider here in the junior class. Second in final one. Is he going to be able to go one better here in final two? Will Hoare, the championship leader, up to ninth now for Hoare. So it's making some progress, but still plenty of work to do. He's just in front of Diego Herrera, just behind Sebastian Knuckle. So he should be able to try and get himself up another couple of spots. But Tim Apple was so strong in the final one that it's going to be hard to catch him now that he's out in front. Kaba keeps in second spot, but already that gap stretching out to five or six seconds between the Bulgarian rider in second and the race leader. You can see there with Gamera just making the mistake through the rocks. Easy to get yourself caught, lose momentum. That's exactly what happened for Gamera. He falls all the way down the field. It looks there like the number six machine of Kazmark also coming across through the rocks. David Cyprian down the inside. The way to pick up a couple of spots on the 62 machine. But look at the lead of Tim Apple. He's way out in front. He's three seconds faster last time around than Kavaki. He's already got a seven second lead at the start of final two as we come through these opening two minutes of the final. Will Hoare able to get himself up into fifth spot now. You can see the championship leader, the red plate there for the championship leader. Four out of four perfect starts to the year. He's going to have his work cut out for himself in the second half of this race to maintain that winning form. Hoare doing all he can to try and close out on Leon Henschel. Another German rider just in front of him on a, on a Husqvarna. But it's only like Tim Apple out front, the leading German rider on that 96 machine. He's pulled out. An even bigger lead now. Will Hoare just trying to maintain that momentum. Get in the inside there of Rinaldi. Is Hoare going to be able to get himself up into fourth spot? Does manage to make that move on Rinaldi. Good stuff there from the championship leader. Now he's about trying to put some pressure on Henschel. It looks like he's much faster through this section from Will Hoare. But not quite able to try and put himself in a position to make a move down that inside lane. More on that number 80 though. Just trying to press on 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 that 61 machine. As you can see from Moore, it's just all about trying to avoid mistakes now in this opening half of the race. It's difficult to come through from the second row of the grid in this reverse order grid. So for Hoare, it's now just going to be a case of try and finish. In front of him, and also the likes of Kavakiv. It looks like Kavakiv's had a problem there on the 23 machine. Kavakiv had been running in second spot, and they're just dropping down the order. He's managed to get himself going again to Diego Herrera's Locked up in the rocks. But for Kavaki, drops down from second spot down to what looks like fifth spot now. So Henschel and Hoare, second and third. Hoare on that number eight machine. He's third in championship leader, just trying to put some pressure on Henschel now. The gap between Tim Apple out in front, Henschel in second, that's 14 seconds. So for Will Hoare, all he can do is finish second in this race. Unless Tim Apple has a problem trying to take that inside line there for Hoare. Not quite close enough to try and make a move on Henschel. But over the water jumps, are we going to see Hoare try and make a move? Not close enough there for Hoare. Into the sand section, trying to take that wider line through the rocks, over the log. Not able to take the ramp there for Hoare. He just runs across all of the logs. And that's what's allowed Henschel to open up a slender lead there. He managed to pull out around about half a second last time around on Will Hoare. You can see Luke Walker just the South African rider in between both of those riders there. Blue flags out for Walker. Walker down in 13th spot at the moment. And Hoare just trying to make that move, try and get cleanly through and Walker to start putting pressure in the final 90 seconds once more on Henschel on the 61 machine. Henschel's done well though. 
hasn't made a mistake up to this point, just doing everything he can to try and make sure he's able to hold on to second and claim those 17 points. Tim Apple out in front though with 80 seconds and a lap remaining and Tim Apple just comfortably maintaining his pace. You can see there with Hoare just making the mistake once again through the rocks, over the logs, Hoar trying to get himself going. He's still holding on to third spot it looks like unless Ronaldo was able to make a move through on him but for Will Hoare it really is a case of just damage limitation now. In Poland he avoided making mistakes because he was comfortable. He was out in front, he didn't have to press. Now he's trying to press on on that number 80 machine. This is your race leader, Tim Apple on the 96, just about to come across to start what will be his penultimate lap. Apple with a 13 second lead from Henschel. It's a German 1 2 at the moment between Apple and Henschel. So the home crowd really are being put on for a treat here from the 96 and the 61 machines. Apple just coming through the, the rhythm jumps before the log cylinder. Nice and easy for Tim Apple here on the penultimate lap of the race. You can see the riders just getting caught out in the rock section once more. That really is where this race will be won and lost for a lot of riders. It's a case of through that section, easy to make a mistake. Tim Apple, though, he's not looking like making a mistake on that 96 machine. Out in front, he finished second in final one. He's leaving final two, just about to start his final lap. Comes through the sand section, trying to hold that outside line. Nice and easy there from... The German rider. He's not trying to force his bike into any areas on the track. He's just giving it a tight final lap here for Tim Apple. Now the number 96, the reigning European champion. He's out in front and he's closing in on his first junior Super Enduro World Championship victory. And what a better time to do it than in front of your home crowd. You can see the German fans in the background cheering on Tim Apple as he comes through and have a key to lap the number 23 machine. Angel is still in second spot, just in front of Will Hoare. And last time around. Henschel was able to extend his lead once again over Horse of Horn at third, behind the two Germans. And as you can see with Tim Apple now, just coming through the water jumps, coming down through the sand into the rock section. It's just about staying out of trouble now for the 96 machine. Tim Apple not trying to pull his way through the riders in front of him, just trying to hold on to that bike, hold on to the win. And Tim Apple on the 96 claims his first ever Junior World Championship victory. Really good performance there from the European champion. And Tim Apple, really strong race there, just got himself to the front, from the second row of the grid, and he was never really seen again by any of his rivals. Will Hoare, he's in third spot at the moment for the championship leader, his unbeaten run comes to an end, Henschel finishing second, and it's a German 1-2 here, the German fans on their feet for the two home riders. Will Hoare able to pick up another 15 championship points. Really strong stuff there from Will Hoare as he takes that checkered flag in third. Good performance from the championship leader. You can see Rinaldi on the 78. And it looks like the number 11 machine has gone down. And just getting a little bit of help there to get himself back up. But it looks like in fourth spot we're going to have Diego Herrera just in front of Rinaldi. It's a good performance from Rinaldi in his first performance, first race of the season. Tim Apollo able to take the applause and look the crowd here as well in front of a home crowd here at Risa for the German rider. Really good performance from Tim Apple. And you can see from the second row of the grid, just on the left hand side of the shot, Tim Apple's going to come on that 96 machine. But he cuts through that first corner there for Tim Apple. So something to look out for for the number 96 machine there. But uh, able to get himself up into second off the line. And then later on around that lap, able to get himself out front.